Hey guys, it's TJ7903. Um, so, this video is going to be a little different because I have so many smartphones, I don't think I can set them all out in my room. I know, like, Android 2s and all that's there, but, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to put, like, the Android 2s in the frame. I'm going to do it from Android 2 Android 4, you know. You'll see. But anyway, yeah. So I'm, it's going to be a little different. Also, if you want or like ringtone videos or reviews or like um, or like reviews, ringtone videos, startup and shutdowns, request them down in the comments. I actually am going to be making shorts of startup and shutdowns. So request the ones you want, a flip phones and dumb phones, although those ones are, yeah. Or if you want like reviews on dumb phones, which why uh, why would you want a review on a dumb phone? Because yeah, it's just not that exciting. But anyway, but yeah. So if you want all that, just put them in the comments down below, and yeah, um, I will do them. So yeah, um, first we have Android twos and Android fours, Android sixes, Android you know whatever. Anyway, so basically, um, so first up, so now, so yeah, Android two. So first up, we have um, these two. We have these two Motorola Droid Xs. They both work. They're on Verizon Wireless. And yeah, they both work. They're on Verizon Wireless. Next up, we have um, these two. Sam I have two of these Samsung Galaxy S. Um, they are Galaxy S Aviators on a USA cellular. I have two of them. I just don't know where the other one is right now. Oh, here it is. Um, found it. Then we have a Samsung Galaxy Stratosphere on Verizon Wireless. Works perfectly fine. And then we, I have a um, Motorola Electrify on US Cellular. The camera is broken and it is slightly cracked down here. But other than that, it works perfectly And there are some dead pixels on the screen. But other than those things, it works perfectly fine. This is an HTC M. This is an HTC um, Evo 4G. It does work perfectly fine. I'm not turning any of these things on. I, if you notice, that is because I mean, it's just a collection. If you if you want like a far view on any of these phones, I can do that. Or you know, but yeah, um, this is just a collection video, so I'm not gonna start up any of these phones. I'm just gonna show you what I have and show you and tell you if they work or not and that's basically it anyway then actually this is an Android far phone what is that doing there anyway then I have two of these um, Pantech breakouts on Verizon wireless the power buttons right here which is very weird but yeah they both work and both of these things work then I have a Samsung Galaxy phone. I don't know what it is, what model it is, but it's some type of Galaxy on AT&T. Works perfectly fine. Then I have this HTC phone that the hinge is broken. I don't know what it is, but it's cool and it works perfectly fine. It's in blue and I, I like that. Then we have this Samsung Moment that works perfectly fine. Um, I like this phone a lot. Then we have this Samsung Admire, I think on Metro PCS works perfectly fine. Then I have this um, Samsung Intercept. Samsung Intercept on Sprint works perfectly fine. Then I have this um, Motorola Defy XT works perfectly fine on Republic Wireless. Then I have this Sony Ericsson Xperia phone. It's tiny. Tiny Xperia phone. Works perfectly fine. I got it more as, for just the size than as an actual phone. Then I have then I have a um, HTC Desire, the original one. It has the extended back and the battery, which I don't like. But it works perfectly fine. I got it's on US cellular also. Then I have this LG Ally on Verizon Wireless. It works perfectly fine. It's in pretty good shape too. Then I have uh um Huawei send Y on US cellular. This on US cellular. This thing works perfectly fine. I like I like this phone a lot. Then I have this LG Optimus U on US cellular. Works perfectly fine. It's in this nice blue color, which is pretty cool. 
Then I have a Samsung gem on you, a cellular. It's in very beat up shape, but it's pretty cool. That's my fault, honestly. I shouldn't have been dumb. Anyway, this is a Sprint LG Optimus S. Um, works perfectly fine. I love this thing a lot. Then I have an original Moto Razor. Or not a Razor, a Moto Droid. Um, this thing's on Verizon Wireless. Works perfectly fine. I like it. Pretty cool phone. Then I have a Samsung Replenish. Um, works perfectly fine on Sprint. This thing's cool because it has a fully it has a QWERTY keyboard like a BlackBerry, but then it's a smartphone. It just it it has a small screen, but yeah, it's cool, and it works perfectly fine. And I have this Samsung Acclaim. This is the only Android two phone that I have that does not work at all. Well, it works, but the display is just black. But other than that, it works. I actually have plans for this. So that's actually the reason I kept it. I usually don't keep phones if they're broken. But the reason I kept that is because I actually have a plan for that or what I'm going to do with it. This is a Samsung. This this is an LG Optimus V on Virgin Mobile. Works perfectly fine. Although it has a Sprint back, not a Virgin Mobile one. It's in very good shape. But yeah, that's that. And that's all my Android 2 devices. Now on to Android 4s. So now we're on to Android 4s. So first up, we have this um, LG G Vista on AT and T works perfectly fine. Um, I think the only issue is that the SIM card tray is broken, but yeah, it works perfectly fine. Then I have this random Huawei device on consumer cellular. It doesn't. It works like trash. The speaker is gone, so that's nice. It's supposed to be right there. Um, it's water damaged. It's in terrible shape. I don't like this thing. The camera lens is also gone. It's in, yeah, it's in bad shape. As I said, works though. Um, th this is a Sam. This is a Motorola um, Electrify M on US Cellular. This thing is really nostalgic to me, and I love it. And I'm never getting rid of it, like ever. I just love it. It's nostalgic. This is a Motor M Motorola Moto E first gen. I got this from Walmart for like thirty bucks when it just came out. Sorry, I'm looking for a certain phone. Oh yeah, this is an HTC Thunderbolt on um, Verizon Wireless, and I actually watched YouTube on this thing. Because it has a kickstand and it's on Android 4 for some reason. So I watched YouTube on it and it was actually a really nice, cool experience. Also, I have this is this is one of my Android 5 phones. This is now do this is now do tri tri tribute 5 on Boost Mobile. So I guess I'll just show you it because it's here. I don't know. Anyway, um, so yeah, that thing is doing a software update for some reason or system update. I don't even know. It works perfectly fine. I got actually got it a couple days ago. But anyway, um, so this is my LG Lucid 3 on Verizon Wireless. This thing works perfectly fine. Um, yeah, I got the, I have this nice case for it. Pretty cool. Also, the home button glows up and it's really cool. But yeah, I like that. I actually have the one through three of the Lucid. I just need to find the other two ones wherever they are. Where's the Lucid? Here? Is this? Yeah, this is the original one. This is a Lu This is the original Lucid on Verizon Wireless. Um, this thing works. When I go to the YouTube website, it doesn't work. Which Android fours mo mo most of them still do. When I go to the YouTube website, they at least work. So this one just does nothing. Which, but yeah, they, this thing. Will, oh, sorry. Oh. Oh. It is currently 7.57. It's almost 8 o'clock at night. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm tired. But yeah, this thing works perfectly fine other than the YouTube thing. This is an LG Lucid 2 on Verizon Wireless. It works perfectly fine. It has a screen protector and a bat and a um bat. Well, it's a back. It has a screen protector and a case. works perfectly fine. Everything works on it. Then I have two of these, actually. This thing also works perfectly fine. Um, I actually got this, and this was Pasco locked. Well, both of these were Pasco locked when I got them. But yeah, um, so yeah, this thing works perfectly fine. 
on Verizon Wireless. This is a Motorola Droid Razor M, I think. Works perfectly fine except image burn. There's like medium image burn on this thing. But yeah, works perfectly fine other than that. Um, this is a red pad tech device. <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm just tired. Anyway, this is a ran this is a random pan tech device. Um, on Verizon Wireless. Um, this thing is pretty cool because it's an Android far phone, but it still has um a Slido keyboard. This one is water damaged. I have two of these. Where's my other one? Here it is. This one's in way better shape. It's not water damaged and and, and it actually has a back, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, these things are slider phones. They're pretty cool. Um they're they're Pantech phones i don't even know what they're called but yeah this is a samsung galaxy avent on t-mobile this thing works perfectly fine other than there's no there, there's no hard buttons there's no hard buttons so i can't so yeah that's kind of annoying this is a moto droid mini on Verizon Wireless, I actually had a bl I, I, I have a black one. This one is in really good shape. I actually had a white one, but that one was broken. And I actually, that is actually the lot I got my M Moto G first generation in, too. Did I show that? I don't think I did, actually. But yeah, um, but yeah. Anyway, this is, but yeah, this thing works perfectly fine. The case is in pretty beat up shape, but the phone works perfectly fine. It's in like mint. Since I was talking about this, I might as well show it. This is my Moto G first gen. It's in really good, it's, it's in really, really good shape, like super good shape. This thing is on, I, this thing's actually unlocked. It works perfectly fine. Um, and yeah, I love it. One of my favorites, probably one of my favorite smartphones. This is a ZTE Savvy. This thing has re really great speaker. Like the speaker's really good for an Android 4 phone. Like really, really good. It's actually very impressive. Um, I actually really, really like this thing a lot. It's actually really cool. It's kind of a, it's kind of like your generic like 2013 smartphone though, to be honest. But it's pretty cool. Um, then I just have small, really small phones. This is one of my LG Lucky slash Sunrises that I have. Does not have a battery, but works perfectly fine, even though it's in pretty beat up shape. I have two of these. Um, this is the other one. This one does have a battery, and this one also works perfectly fine. Yeah, this thing is actually restarting. It's done its upload thing. Anyway, um, so yeah. And just to prove this thing's on boost when it loads up, I will show you that this thing's on boost. This is an Android 5 phone, but I'm showing it in this video because it's just here for some reason. Anyway, this is a um, this is a piece of absolute crap um, T-Mobile Prism 2 phone. I don't care about it. It's actually a Huawei phone, but it works perfectly fine. It's just garbage. Oh, it didn't show the boost screen. It just says Android's upgrading. Whatever, it is on boost. So yeah, this is a this is an Alcatel One Touch Seep One Pop. It's it works perfectly fine. It's just kind of garbage. This is a this is a Galaxy Centura Samsung Galaxy Centura dummy phone. I had a real one, but I actually am selling it because it it's it's not in good condition. And I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna get another one. I think, but yeah, this is a, and this is a Kyocer Hydro. This is a Kyocer Hydro on Boost on Boost Mobile. Uh, this and this. Th these are my only two Boost Boost Mobile phones. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah. So they both. Th this thing work works perfectly fine. Also, that thing works perfectly fine. So yeah. Anyway. Um. This is a Kaya, this is a LG Motion 4G on Metro PCS works perfectly fine. I I absolutely love this thing. This thing's in really good shape. Yeah, that's all my Android 4 phones. Now onto Android 5s. So yeah, we're on Android 5s now. I actually don't have that many Android 5s. So yeah, that's it. Th th this is all my Android 5s I have. I don't have very many. 
Um, that's that's my Android 2s, Android 4s, and then that is all the phones I haven't shown you yet. But yeah, this is all my Android 5s. So yeah, you already know about this. LG Tribute 5 works perfectly fine on Boost Mobile. Um, this is a Moto E second generation. Works perfectly fine on Republic Wireless. It, it This is the one with the bezel. Because the bezel actually, if you don't know... Um, where is it? I can't, it doesn't want to come off right now. Here it is. Here's the little... You never mind, but this little bezel comes off also. And now I'll do the other one because it's a pretty good, wherever it is, I don't even know where it is, um, it's here. Anyway, this is, uh, um, this is, uh, this is the same thing, but with no bezel. It works perfectly fine, it's unlocked. And I just found two more Android 5 phones. This is a Kyocera Hydro Air on, um, AT&T. My sister bought this brand new from Walmart. It's not in good shape. Um, this thing is a piece of garbage. Works though, perfectly fine. This is a Metro. This is a Kyocera Hydro Air on Metro PCS. Works perfectly fine. Just does not have a back. This is a Moto X on USA. Either. This was this was actually my mom's. Pretty pretty good shape. It has an aftermarket Verizon back though. It has a nice case. It works perfectly fine. This is a Moto X. My this was in my dad's. It's not in good shape. Um, it's on you cellular. The back is like orange, also, basically. It's supposed to be white though, as you can tell. But yeah, I'll just show you this thing's on Boost because it's on. And it, it's actually it didn't say that. It usually says Boost Mobile, but it actually doesn't say Boost Mobile. But just believe me, it's on Boost. No, actually, I'll show you. Um, more about phone phone to LG Tribute 5 network boost mobile just to confirm it works perfectly fine it's on Android 5 point I don't even know anyway this is an this is an HTC um, M7 HTC One M7 with Beats Audio works perfectly fine. I love I on Sprint. I like this phone quite a lot. This is an HTC M8 on AT and T works perfectly fine in this nice spec case. And yeah, no cracks. This one has a hairline crack actually. If you can see that, I don't even know. Yeah, you can see that now. But yeah, other than that, it works perfectly fine. This is a cracked up there, as you can see. It's a um, LG Sunset on track phone. Works perfectly fine otherwise, though. It has this case that's really beat up. But yeah. Then I have this LG Stylo first gen. The back is cracked. There's It does have a pen, which I actually replaced because the old pen was rotting away. Um, works perfectly fine. I got it for like from a flea market for like ten bucks, which is a which is a really good deal. This last but not least from Android Fives, this is an LG G two. I absolutely I absolutely love this thing. The case is pretty nice, although I don't like that it covers the buttons because the LG G two button actually glows up a bit, and I like that a lot. So, yeah, that's actually that's nice. I. I absolutely love this phone. So that's it for my Android 5s. And then now we're on to Android 6s. So now we're on to Android 6s. And yeah. So. That's pretty cool. I have an L. Oh yeah, there it is. Anyway. First up, we have an LG G4 on... AT&T works perfectly fine. Has a screen protector back and has a leather back screen protector, and a case works. And I don't use it because I don't want to, I don't want it to boot loop, but works fine. And then because I showed you that, I might as well show you this on the bottom. This is an LG G3 on Telus. This thing works perfectly fine. Um, this thing is beautiful. It has a it it has a flip view case. I actually really like it. 
Um, this thing is an LG X Power on US cellular. It is cracked a little bit up here, as you can see. If you can see that, I don't even know actually. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can see that now. Anyway, then I have an LG Rebel Two. I got this new at Walmart on track phone on Black Friday. It's on track phone. It works perfectly fine. It's just very scratched because I, yeah, my like all my phones get scratched, even my S twenty one because there's a screen protector on it. And this is an LG X style. This thing is cracked, but it works perfectly fine on track phone. I have a lot of LG Android six phones, like a lot, like. Prob like two of my phones are not LGs that are Android sixes, and like all the other ones are. I don't have that many Android six phones though, but still, this is an LG K K three twenty seventeen. I actually have the box for this thing. Got it for like five bucks from a garage sale. It's a really nice phone. I got it like basically new. Also, that's pretty cool. This is a Samsung Galaxy Luna or Samsung Galaxy J1 Luna on track phone. I got it on Black Friday in like 2018 or 2017. I don't even remember what year exactly. This is a ZTE Majesty Pro on track phone. I got this from Walmart for like my birthday for like 40 bucks. It was kind of a very not a good deal, but whatever. That was It was in like 2017 or 18. This is a... Uh, LG Verizon phone. I don't even know what phone this is, but it's an LG Verizon phone. I'm not even sure what one, but it's something. But yeah, that's actually all my Android 6s, and I, I know I don't have very many. Um, But yeah, that's, that's actually it. If I find more, I guess I'll tell you, but I think that's it. So, yeah. So, these are my, these are my Android... Um, seven and above phones. So yeah, this is a uh, Moto. Um, this is a Moto. Um, this is a Motorola Moto C. Um, I don't know what carrier it's on. Um, this phone is foreign because nothing's in English. But yeah. Um, it's a pretty nice phone. I bought this battery for 14 bucks, so I kind of spent way too much money on it. But who cares? It works, and that's cool. I actually had two of these, but the other one didn't work. So I'm actually selling the other one because it doesn't work. But this one does work. You, I mean, these things have been untested for like two years, since like 2019. For like, so like three years, actually. But yeah. Actually, in 2021, I tested them. So yeah. Two years, actually, honestly, probably. Also, um, keep, um, also, um, keep watching the video because I actually have to do my Galaxy still because they I put them in their own separate pile and my Windows phones and my broken phones that don't work at all. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is my LG X Power Two on, um. What's this on? I don't even know, actually. I think it's on, like, a... Kudo? I think that's a Canadian thing. I don't know. This is my Google Pixel 3. On you, a cellular. It's... On you, a cellular. I got it brand new when... I got it brand new because it was my... It was, it, it was my main phone... Until like um, February when I got my S22 or S21 5G. Um, but yeah, this is actually, this is a super, super nice phone. It does not have a screen protector. It's a super nice phone. It's in really good shape because I've kind of kept it in this case my whole life. So it's in super good shape. Then... Um, this is an Android 6 phone. What's this doing here? Then I got, um, uh, then I have this, um, um, then I have this Moto, M Moto, Moto E 4th generation. It is cracked, but it works perfectly fine. Then I think this is my last, which is kind of depressing. I only have like five Android 7 phones or whatever. Kind of sad depressing but whatever i have this 
Um, Moto G7 Power. I love this thing. This thing's actually my secondary device. Like my, this thing's actually my media device. Um, this thing's beautiful. The screen protector is cracked. Glass screen protector is cracked. It is a nice case because I actually bought one for it because I like this phone that much. Then uh, this phone is in blue. It's in pretty beat up shape, but yeah, I love this phone a lot. Moto G7 Power. Um, I got it for like a, f for like 10 bucks at the flea market also, which is a pretty, which is a f like freaking awesome deal by the way. But yeah, that's all of my Android seven and above. That's all my Android seven and above smartphones. And then I just got all the rest of my smartphones because I don't know. I forgot. I put these in separate piles. So I just got all of these. So yeah. Um, but yeah, let's get started with these broken phones. This is an LG, a broken LG G4. It does this. The screen lights up, but that's all it does. It's good for a flashlight, though. That's actually why I kept it because it's a it it it's a big flashlight. The screen does yeah work. It works other than it doesn't have a screen. And that the reason I kept it's because flashlight. It's not, it would be a nice big one. I got then I got this broken HTC, HTC Desire 510. This thing, I had it for like a day and then it started boot looping. I got it for like ten bucks. So yeah, that's fun. So I had I got it. I had it for like a day. Started boot looping and then I I've tried everything and I could not. I've not been able to get the, it 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 out of the boot loop. Also, this thing is on Telus, and then this thing's on Metro PCS. So now into my galaxies. Yay! Finally. Anyway, so I got two two S1 Fascinates, US Cellular, they both work. I got an S2 Epic or Skyrocket or whatever. I think it's the S2 Epic. It's cracked. It's in pretty terrible shape. It's on sprint, and I honestly want to get a new one because it's in bad shape. Then I got like a million S3s. I got an S3. This one's in my I think this this one's in sub, some type of blue. I really like it. It's on Sprint. Works perfectly fine. Got another S3 on Sprint. Works perfectly fine. It's in pebble blue. Got a white S3 on Verizon. Works perfectly fine. Actually, no, it doesn't. The power button's finicky, but other than that, it works perfectly fine. Then I got this S3 Mini on, on Verizon. I think this thing's also pebble blue. Works perfectly fine. I really, actually really like this phone. It's kind of cute. S4 Verizon light blue works perfectly fine or blue not light blue S4 mini US cellular works perfectly fine although it does have screen burn in S4 US cellular I have this ugly minions case on it but I'm gonna get that off because it's ugly as shit so oh okay anyway but yeah um Oh, sorry for swearing, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, um, this thing has a plastic screen. But yeah. Um, this thing works perfectly fine. This is, this is an S5 in a nice spec case. Um, blue back works perfectly fine. I actually applied a screen protector myself. I did an okay job, I would say. But yeah, it's a nice phone. Then I got this um, Galaxy S5 Mini. I actually found this in the Target bin. My only Target bin, my first and only Target bin find. So yeah, I actually found it in Target bin, which is pretty cool. It was it? It was like brand, basically brand new, and I found it. Um, it's still in pretty good shape, but yeah. Um, it's yeah. And then I got these Windows phones. I got this Nokia Windows phone on AT and T. I don't know what it is though. This one, Nokia Windows Phone, at t it's in white. Then I got this Samsung Windows Phone. It's cracked. I might sell this because I don't really have a use for it. Maybe, I don't know. Um, very cracked, and it's this thing's on Telus. This thing's on T-Mobile, and then this thing's on at t So yeah, that is my entire phone collection of 2022. Um... Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below um, if you want a review on any of these phones or my or, or, or my dumb phones. I don't know why you would though. 
But yeah, um, comment down below if you want a ringtones video or review or just to start up and whatever. But yeah, um, it's, but yeah, so yeah, that's my phone, smartphone collection of 2022. Um, and yeah, it's been me, TJ7903, and yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next, in the next video. Peace out.